Okay, so we're going to take Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Vegito into the Omega Shinron event. Now, the thing about this Vegito is he's actually obviously better in short content because his inter animation does give him a 30% damage reduction buff and a 30% crit chance buff for six turns. So because of that, we want to like have him in these six turn fights. However, this is a longer term event. I want to see if he's able to still handle himself pretty well in this fight. I think he probably will be able to. The idea is to save the active skill until the final phase against Int Omega. And, you know, obviously we I have my Vegito with dodge. I think this friend does have dodge in their Vegito, right? So that's kind of the idea there. Um, we'll see how things go. Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku should actually be pretty decent here. Because of the fact that he will also, um, what's it called? Ha like, he will be able to flip, build up his full passive pretty easily, I think. So, that's a good thing. Um, or do we have both Limit Breaker Vegitos in the same rotation? We do. Mm, not really the best thing ever, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and start off with the intro. You know what I might, should have maybe done? Instead of Super Saiyan 3 Goku, should have brought full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, I don't know. It'd be kind of weird. I'd have to run like a giant power kind of setup. But yeah, this should be okay still. Um, I mean, I guess ideally we try to push through this as soon as possible. It does suck getting both Vegitos in the very first turn. Because we would like to have the damage reduction up as soon as possible. So... It's actually beneficial for Vegito to be in slot 7 in this fight. Because then the damage reduction will last way, way longer. Omega does reduce damage um, from any non-int type character. Ooh, we didn't get this 70% additional. That sucks. But I think we could still do some pretty decent damage to move past this phase quickly. Luckily, the second phase of this fight is actually AG, uh, not AGO, STR. So even if Vegito's reduction does run out during that fight, we don't have to use the active skill for his defense start of turn. And um, we'll be good there. Um, okay, we're doing a lot of damage here, which is, I think, pretty helpful in total. Um, it'll allow us to let the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I realize we have Toa on the team. And, oh, I just realized I made a mistake. A huge mistake. We have Toa and crimson mass scene that is really bad for um this super saiyan 4 goku is it not Ugh, i am so silly aren't i yeah because why didn't i think of that i actually don't know why i didn't even consider the fact that we wouldn't get the full passive with him a lot of the time that's bad because without his reduction he's bad like straight up bad with his reduction he's okay without it, he's bad i don't know what i was thinking actually to be honest i just i did a little stupid thought um would it be a situation i guess i have to flow him yeah i mean i'm gonna have to flow him around so that i get the rotations with him never having an extreme class ally so he's going to be floating. I'll have Super Saiyan 3 in rotation with um, Vegito, I guess. That's what we're going to do. I mean, Vegito will be a good slot 1 unit, so that's fine. Toa debuffing here is helpful. And Rose will just, I guess, push Rose out. I mean, he's going to transform without getting any offensive stacks. I might put Super Saiyan 4 Vegito in the first slot here. Um, Because he could nullify the super attack. So he like we could straight up like circumvent us getting super and like sealed which that literally did happen awesome thank you vegito uh that works out for me quite well because i want to make sure we get through this fight very quickly okay and then now you're gonna do your little slicing okay but yeah i guess regardless we're not going to get to a situation where how do i explain it um we're gonna have his full reduction against the into mega fight that's just not a thing don't crit maybe okay 
Ooh, well, he got the super. Dang it. I wanted to see maybe if Rosé... Well, if he doesn't crit again... Ooh. Oh, well, there, there it is. Never mind. <laughs> this guy really just ruined my hopes and dreams to get some attack stacks with Rosé, but that's okay. Sure, sure, man. Do what you want to do. Omega is obviously very difficult in the last phase because he has the three AOEs. That's the biggest issue for him. We'll do this. Ooh, key's bad for you. At least uh, we do get stats. He does get stats in super, does he not? Mm. That sucks. I would like to get these links active. So we'll do this just just because. We'll grab that. Limit Breaker, Super Saiyan 4, Goku. Yeah, no. I should have not have brought him. Um, when I can, I'm going to just take him off the team, probably. Yeah. I don't know why. I uh, wanted to even bring him. Yeah, he, kinda, he sucks. He needs to receive a couple of attacks to get his full passive up. That's just not good enough. This. Oh, we dodged that. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. Vegito could still do good damage, though. Uh, he's type advantage. He can still triple super. And if he does get his crits off, yeah. We're able to kind of melt through this Omega fight, which is going to be really sick to see. Um, slicing. Yep, there it is. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're looking good. Goku, what do you live? Is he going to live? I don't know. Seven hits is a lot. Why does it have to take seven hits, man? I don't even know if we were able to take enough. There's one. We dodged one. I think, I don't know how much that was. Toa healed this not. So she can't dodge. Okay. I'm going to hope that I finish these off pretty quickly or else things will get very nasty very quickly still. Uh, fingers crossed that we're good. Ooh, this is not ideal. I dodged it though. That's cool. I need Toa to dodge. Vegito, ouch. Toa dodge, Toa dodge. Okay, thank you, Toa. Can, Vegito, can you triple super and finish them off here, actually? That would be really cool. Actually, that would be fantastic. Oh, yeah, we could finish things off. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, his dude, he's hitting so hard here. 15.6 mil. Wow. What a goat. Oh, yeah. Vegito. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's so nasty. Oh, he's actually disgusting. Dude, dude, y'all saw that? He just, we just like destroyed the middle phase, right? We're seven minutes into the video and we're already at the end of Omega. So. We definitely use the Super Saiyan 4 active skill here. Now, he does not have his full reduction anymore, I think. Well, it's six turns. He was turn one. Actually, he does have his full reduction, does he not? He should. It's turn six. It's the next turn. That one doesn't have his full reduction. Should I save the active skill here? I might save it because I have the full reduction. So I don't see a reason to use it here. Yeah, we'll save the active skill for this specific turn. Pushing Rosé off kind of sucks, but it's okay. I think keeping this guy in rotation is going to be much more worthwhile. Can you dodge this, buddy? You got the dodge in you? No, okay. Um, This could be an issue. Ouch. No, that was, that was not too bad, actually. Now we got the extra defense here on super attack, but he still might take some damage from normals. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, nice dodge. Yeah, Vegito takes double digits from the AOEs here. Luckily, there's only one. Oh, there's two. Never mind. I'm a liar. 40k. Double digits. And then there's that. Did that last one right? Oh, my goodness. Dang it. That sucks so bad. That really does blow. Okay. I'm taking that Goku off. We're going to hop back in. I think I like these rotations a lot. We got one of the Vegitos in slot 7. So that Vegito will have his reduction basically until turn 9. Um, and then the other one will have his reduction until turn 8. So that's good. We want to keep that in mind. We'll just start from here. Let's just keep going. No crit and only one super. Oh, that's very terrible. Um, this is his first turn. I'm bringing Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta over to mine that's more link leveled, so because we'll have more of a benefit from having him max things like that, right? So we'll go ahead and I guess I'll push Super Saiyan 3 off rotation, is what I'm thinking. Well, I could do this. I do get Shattering Limit. We'll do that, and let's hope we don't get instantly supered. 
but that way all of our characters could super. If we do get instantly supered and sealed or stunned, that is bad. Okay, we should be okay. So again, this one, the damage reduction just barely began. Um, not hitting nearly as hard as he could though. But we could get some good damage still in here regardless. Um, so we still have two extra turns of this guy's reduction. And then two extra turns of the other one's reduction still too. But it's going to be a little hard to move through this fight. Because obviously right, we're tight to see advantage with the two main damage dealers right but it's still fine we're still able to see he's pretty good in omega right most of the time you're just not going to get to the final phase with his full passive i mean one of them probably could be at full passive potentially it just really depends on your luck with how the um i was gonna say dodges but how the uh super attacks go your way and the crits go your way right i could use the active here if i wanted to and just move through the fight but i don't think it's worth it so this guy has one more turn of reduction so this vegeto is definitely not going to be able to have his full reduction um by the time we get to the final fight the final part of the fight i guess technically speaking which is fine with me i guess it is what it is right can't really control that unfortunately but at least we could have the full reduction up for the aoes which would be good to see um this Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, I feel like if you're running this fight, you only would you want to bring one of them maybe. So like you could run double Rose leads, have them floating around, and then have a rotation of Vegito and Gohan. Or Vegito and the other Vegito, this guy right here. That's probably your best case scenario to really, really winning through here. This guy still has one extra rotation, so that's good. Um man, yeah, see the Okay, we didn't encounter here too. Yeah, the RNG here was not nearly as good as the previous ones. Okay, we took so much damage. That's kind of crazy. Hopefully, we finish things off here. And then we'll be able to move forward. Alright. Goodbye. Boop. One more? Nice. Okay. I mean, no. There's no way that Vegito finishes off next turn. Luckily, we got the Rose Goku Black Heal. So, that's going to be good. His little heal is going to be pretty good for us. Pretty powerful. Uh, as you can tell, I'm recording at 6 a.m. I haven't slept yet. There's so much to do. Loki. <laughs> so if I'm repeating myself once in a while or sound, say one or two things that sound stupid, uh, that's why. Because I'm silly. Okay. What if we use the act to go with this one and just finish things off just instantly? Is that worth it? Um. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I... Mm, they could be kill if I do that. I don't think I could still kill even if I do that. That's the only issue I'm thinking of. It's like it would be better if I don't use it. I'm going to use my sensu bean here. And then I potentially don't kill next turn. And I, I feel like I might just kill next turn regardless. We'll see. If I like triple super and then I could have killed with the active. That's going to suck. But that's not something I'd be able to predict. Right? Obviously. Um, I want to be able to tell how, if that was going to happen or not. Okay. Um, all right. Let's start getting some damage. And again, we're able to really melt through this phase, which is at least the good thing here. Double super from you. Sure. I mean, just a small little bit of extra damage. Like Vegito could just get one super here. And then it's like, oh, well, that's that, right? You know, that's all there is to see. All right. Bam. Bam. Yeah. But no, we're getting multiple of these. Yeah, no, there's no way that he kills, though. I just don't see it. Um, even with a triple super. Yeah, no, okay. You should eat this pretty well, though. I think he... Does he only have his 30% up? I think he still has his full... Yeah, no, he has his full 60% up. Yeah, see, last time we got very lucky with how things turned out. This time, not so much with how things turned out in terms of... Like, getting to turn 6 in the final phase against Omega. That's pretty rare. So, the fact that we were able to get that, we just got very good RNG. Which is why I'm glad I did go in and do the second run. So, we're able to see, like, you know, obviously, we just got really good RNG with how things turned out. Um, at least we're seeing Vegito eat these normals here pretty well, which, I mean, he better be eating these normals well. This is scary. I'm going to... do this i think this is what i have to do to be honest we'll at least have i mean 
My Vegito here, he has dodge and he has the high chance to counter. So that's there. This guy could also just kill, I guess. Kind of don't want him to, but he could also just straight up kill. Hopefully we'll be fine. I think we should be okay though. I think. Ooh, he might just straight up finish him off here, huh? I think that's what's going to happen. He's just finishing him off. Okay, sure, man. Boop. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Goodbye. Okay, well, that happened. Ha! <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, now we have this one. How should we do the attacks? Yeah, you don't have your reduction in full. We're going to have to use this here. That's for sure. This guy does not build his Vegito with dodge. No, see, that sucks. Um, Gonna have to rely on you in the first level, which is not bad, but not ideal, I think. We'll grab that. What is his defense at? 600k defense. Okay, not not bad at all. Um, Man, if you had full dodge in him, though, that would be rocking. Okay, 29k, 29k. Okay, we're able to super attack at least with this, these characters first. At least, well, mm, Gohan takes a lot. 58k. Actually, 58k is not too bad. At least we're going to super with you first before you get hit. Uh, potentially supered. Um, super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Super attack probably kills him. Because he has no defense like that is going to help him out here. Um, This does 350k. 270k. It takes 40k normals down. Dang, I think we're dead unless we get some dodges. Ah, oh, yeah, we're dead again. Dodge? No. Oh my goodness. It's so frustrating getting to the end and dying. I'm gonna do one more here and um, we'll go to the end one more time. I think. Well, I don't know. I think, I think we saw what we needed to really. I mean, he's able to eat double digit normals. This is not a this is not a team build where you want to run double Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. I think that's my outcome from this, which makes sense. Obviously, he's a shorter event unit. If you ran him on like a double Rose team, and he's like on the other rotation with like a Super Saiyan 4 EZA Vegito, that could work. And then you could switch the EZA in slot one at the end and then use the active skill, and then he's able to do a lot of damage in slot two. You'll be pretty safe in that scenario. Which we could not unfortunately see. Would Vegito be able to live a super? 30% reduction. Let's say he's at 800k defense. No. Not with the 30%. He can't get hit by a super. Uh, so that's that. I'm going to end it here. I think that was pretty good. Uh, showing overall what Vegito could do in this fight. Let me know what you guys think about Vegito here. And I'll catch you next time.